Yo, what up? It's your boy Taquan. What? What the? Hold on, let me just fix this. My own friend snitched on me. Here I was in the first grade. I was very, very fascinated with fire. I would play with fire all the time. Like, I would always light things on fire. Paper, sticks, lizards, frogs, roaches, and sometimes my toys. You could pretty much say I was an arsonist, but thank God I didn't become an actual arsonist because God bless the dead, but my grandmother smoked cigarettes when I was younger. So I used to steal her matches. So one particular day, I just thought to myself, hmm, I should take one of grandma matches to school and show my friends. So I did. I thought it was a bright idea to bring matches to school and light something in the school, thinking that I would be cool if I did it. Let me just tell you, bad idea. So at my old elementary school, we used to sit in the hallways before our class start. So basically, all the kids would line up against the wall where your class was, and when your teacher were ready for you to come in, they'd open the door and just wait for you to come in. So little old me was in the hallway just waiting for my perfect time to strike a match. And mind you, while you're waiting in the hallways, there were counselors and uh, teachers that walk up and down that monitored us to make sure we wasn't doing dumb fighting or doing anything crazy. Ugh. So my PE coach, Coach Sevatella, and I hate that I said her name. So my PE coach was one of the uh, monitors. She walked by and I said, this is my opportunity. I turned to my homeboy, who name I would not say for the sake of this video, just in case he magically sees this. And even though we haven't spoken since elementary school, I don't even know if this guy is still alive or not, but yeah. I turned to my homeboy and say, hey, you wanna see something cool? Yeah, man, let me see. Oh my God, I wanna see it. I opened my book bag and I showed him that I had matches. He said, oh snap, my daddy used those to smoke cigarettes. I told him, I'm finna light one in my bag. He goes, okay, cool. So I struck a match in my bag. I had a Spider-Man book bag, I believe. I struck the damn match. Now when I struck the match, I put it out and I closed my book bag back up fast. For people who don't really use matches, matches have a strong scent after you put it out. It's like a strong, ashy kind of smell. So when I put the match out, my PE coach walked by again and she goes, Somebody has matches. Somebody has matches. Somebody has matches. So they started looking all over the place of who can possibly have matches. Now here's the sad part. The smell is mighty strong in the area that I am. So they're mainly looking in our area. So they started going one by one, going to every kid. You got matches? You got matches? You got matches? And they're opening up everybody's book bag. So they get to my homeboy and they ask him. And this goes, I don't have matches. He do. He pointed dead at me and and snitched on me. This told on me. He said I had the matches. So when they came to me, I fucking panicked. I started crying. Oh, they grabbed my book bag and rip it open and boom! The matches just sitting right there because there was nothing else in my book bag. I didn't have no paper, no pencils, none of that. I had a fucking thing of matches sitting in my book bag. They dragged my black ass to the office. I'm crying like a little girl. They don't call the fire department down to the school. My mama down there to the school. My grandma down there to the school. Both of them got belts. I'm getting custom. Out. My principal on my ass. The fire department cussing me out. They put me on a fing quote unquote. They put me on probation for the week. I couldn't go to school for a whole week because my black ass bought matches to school. <sighs> that was the first time ever in my life that I felt betrayed because somebody who I called a good friend snitched on me. I got my ass whooped all throughout the house for taking matches to school. My grandma whooped my ass. My mama whooped my ass. My god daddy whooped my ass. I got my ass told up all out the through the frame. My friend snitched on me. And that shit ain't cool. When I came back to school a week later, everybody thought I was this cool guy. Like, oh, they got a boy that bought the matches to school. And I went along with it. I played innocent like I ain't do shit because that's what cool guys do. But when I went up to my homeboy, I don't know what I said to him. I think I probably told him, you can't talk to me no more. All I know is I punched him in his shit. And we fought on the playground. And I beat his the end. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is your boy Taquan. I hope you enjoyed the story that I gave to you guys today. If you guys would kindly drop your nice comments down below, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that notification bell next to that subscribe button, even though sometimes it don't feel like it does nothing. And importantly, hit that share button and make sure you share this video all across the world. Okay? This is your boy Taquan. I am out of here. Cool.